Mrs. Gearhart here, and I wanted to show you a demonstration on how to make your puzzle piece or your hand project for the About You choice board. If you would like to pick the hand option, the first thing that you will do is trace your hand. With a pencil, make sure to go as close to your fingers as possible so that you can get it as accurate as you can. Then, if you want to choose the puzzle piece option, you may use a tracer to trace around the puzzle piece if needed, or you may choose to free draw your puzzle piece as well. So I am free drawing the other half of this puzzle piece, and I'm just trying to match it up as best as I can. I chose a little bit of a difficult shape there to do. And then of course, uh, you want to erase any pieces that are on the inside. Now for my official project, I chose the puzzle piece because I felt that it represented me the best. And notice in my puzzle piece that there are many overlapping layers. So there's colors overlapping pictures and then other words overlapping those pictures. So overlapping and layering is the key element for either the puzzle piece or the hand. Now as you're designing your puzzle piece or hand, Remember that you'll need to put items inside of it. So the first element that I have in mind that's the most dominant is my name, Mrs. Gearhart. Then I have my three characteristics or attributes of hardworking, creative, and excited. Then I have four of my favorites, which include my football team of the Steelers, my favorite color of blue, pizza, and then PlayStation 4 as my video game console. As for some of my own hobbies, I like to go out into nature and go walking. I have a microphone to represent my love of singing. I have music notes to represent my love of multiple genres of music, especially instrumental. A camera for my passion of photography. A paintbrush and the word art, especially because I'm an art teacher, so I love doing art and making projects. And then a basketball to represent that I played basketball for 10 years and I still have a passion for the sport. The samples shown here are either from my fourth quarter students or images I found online. Remember that you can do this project both by hand or digitally. If you choose the digital option of it, you will be working extensively with layers in the Sketchbook app. As you're working on your design, Make thoughtful decisions to where you will place your text and visuals, which are both necessary for this option. If you have any questions, ask your teacher for some help. Have fun, everyone!